sucking all you want. Going hard in the paint. And that's how you assert dominance. Hey what's up guys, it's JKK Tag, and today we're going to be showcasing some sub battles and I'm also going to have a little bit of a giveaway for you guys. I really appreciate all the love and the support you guys have been giving me in the comments section and I just want to give back to you guys a little bit. So to help you guys out with grand challenges, I'm going to be giving away two iTunes gift cards. All you have to do to enter this giveaway is sub up to the channel, like this video, and then also comment down below on this video in the comment section. The winners to this giveaway will be selected randomly and I'll message you guys over YouTube. I can't wait to do more giveaways like this in the future. I really appreciate all the support you guys have been giving me and I can't wait to keep growing. If you guys have any other suggestions for future videos, make sure to let me know down below in the comment section as well. And I hope you guys enjoyed today's subscriber battles. We'll be dropping skellies in the back and we'll see what's up. Since he is one of the first, okay, so he, he was actually here. I was like, if he's a first request and he wasn't paying attention, I could be kind of bad for him. Huh? Dark Prince with Tombstone. Probably Graveyard. Ice Golem is off his lane. Okay. Really good for me. Not good for me. Mega Minion is going to just throttle me. Ugh. I don't have Archers in Cycle, so I wasn't going to go drop Skeletons and waste them. Because I want to have Skeletons here, so I don't incur any damage. Memes are strong with this one. Dude, they're always strong here. Play Sparky. Sparky's too easy to play. I don't want to play it right now. I want to play decks that I haven't really played in a while. I haven't played Expo in a while, right? You guys have been asking for it. So. I'm trying to diversify as many uh, decks as possible right now. Just playing as many as I possibly can. He's got Robin Hood, so I want to poison that. Or fireball that immediately when he drops it. No, nah, he's going to go. Huh. Should have fireballed that. Oh my god. That's a lot of damage. Thankfully, the Ice Spirit plus Ske or the Robin Hood plus uh, Skeleton hit didn't end up killing the Ice Spirit, so that was nice. Plus in surprise. Like I said, play 2.6, it takes a lot of skill. I can play it a little bit later, maybe. Hmm. Dark Prince? No, okay. We go for a Tesla, draw everything towards the Tesla. That Archer is going to draw towards the Tesla, right? Tesla's going to kill the Mega Minion. It's also going to kill the Dark Prince. Yo, Tesla gave me a lot of value. That's what's up. And it's going to still be sticking around for the second Expo. He's going to go drop Robin Hood. We're going to Fireball him. Oh, that was a glorious Fireball. That was so clean, guys. That series of interactions, having that Tesla... Still on the map and then fireballing the Mega Minion and the Robin Hood. Let's go. We log in everything back and I think we end up taking Tower. Expo is so fun to play. We go in for Ice Spirit. He's going to go in for Mega Minion. We're going to sauce out the Archers in the back as well. And we're going for a Tesla. So we just got to casually defend the Virginity for 15 more seconds and we got the game in the bag. So he's going to go in for Graveyard Poison but we're just going to cycle back to another set of Archers. That's what you gotta love about this cycle with Skeleton's Ice Spirit. Can't really have anything happen to us because we got... Just got all the ability in the world to cycle back to another set of archers. Good game, man. <laughs> this is definitely some abomination of the uh, deck that Toby ran. Lord Divine, let's go. <laughs> Royal Giant Three Musketeers, it's OP! Oh, it had Zappies? Well, more Steve the Spear Goblin than Spice, man. So, we got the Goblin Gang, we got Steve the Spear Goblin. We got Royal Giant with 3M, it's OP. Toby got this with 20 wins or something like this deck. I don't remember what it is, but... I forgot Zappies? Yeah. I definitely didn't make the deck correctly. There's no way. Oh, is he running Expo? <laughs> Yo, I just sniped one of our... One of the viewers. They're running Expo and I'm running Royal Giant. Oh, I'm a really bad person. Guys, I'm actually a Cyber Bully at this point. <laughs> Oh my god. I feel horrible now. What should I do, guys? How do I repent for my sins? Reverse stream sniped. <laughs> I know, dude. I know. It's funny, though. Oh, it's too good. If he finds a way to win this, that'd be hilarious. 
Usually Expo players are pretty good, so... It's definitely going to be a pretty decent match, maybe. You snipe me with Expo. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Oh, it was just Destiny, man. It was just Destiny. Please go in for an Expo so I can go in for a Royal Giant. Awesome. Yo, my ice... Oh, wow. He did, he did a juke. 360, man. We got back to uh, Royal Giant in time, and yeah. He didn't know that we had the Royal Giant, but we, uh, we showed him the sauce. <laughs> He's so sad. He's so sad. I feel so bad. He pays $5 a month to get hard counter live on stream, says Lolo Pound. Accurate description of the series of events that took place, man. <laughs> we go for an Ice Spear right in front of the Musketeer. He goes in for a log, but now we go in for the Goblin Gang. Gang with the Steve and the Spear Goblins. Oh my gosh, the Steven Horde. This should be a new card, the Steven Horde. Like, not even the Spear Goblin Horde, the Steven Horde. That's what it should be called. <laughs> this is truly a divine deck. Ice Golem the tank, and then we go in for Royal Giant. I honestly don't think that the original deck had Ice Golem in it, but we just added Ice Golem for another tank. We couldn't have had a harder counter to Expo, guys. <laughs> He went in for a fireball, so I'm going to go split my three muskies. We're going to try to make something happen here. Should have made something happen a long time ago. Oh, no. He missed the fireball. That's definitely a good game. This took so long to win. We still haven't won yet. Do we even have a spell in this deck? That's another question. Kind of just spamming him at this point. I just want to take the W. We don't have a spell. I can't spell Cyclone, but the Royal Giant does take the W. Good game and well played. And I'm sorry, man. Will you ever forgive me for this sin? I don't know how you guys will forgive me for that. <laughs> that guy might quit CR after that matchup. I know. I'm supposed to be promoting the game, and then I just make people quit. I'm an incorrigible human being. The worst type of person. I'm going to drop guards at the river. Dropping them off to the side gets one more hit. He's going to go sauce out an ice golem. So you never want to drop a balloon just yet because if you drop it opposite lane, he has a Mega Minion. He nets an extremely positive trade. Another thing that's kind of bad is uh, I didn't have NATO yet. I had to really vigorously cycle to that NATO. I had to cycle a Zap on a Hog Rider. Maybe it would have been better to go... No, I think the Hog Rider would have gotten two hits if I hadn't zapped it, maybe. Who knows? Guards off to the side, so if he goes in for a log, then he's not going to... Yeah, he went for the log anyway. I was going to say, he's probably wanting to go for log for chip damage here. He's got hog rider, log. This is going to be XE NATO too. XE NATO matchup, let's go. It'd be really nice to actually get my NATO in cycle. So we're going to have to make something happen here. I'm going to eat up a little bit of damage. And then he's going to have to respond to the executioner. He's also going to have to respond to a balloon. So it's a dual threat here. We're going to get damage on one of the lanes. Oh, Xe's going to go snipe the tombstone. Let's go. I don't know if that was necessary. Oh, he's got flying machine and this. Hmm. I think we can still win, though. Just a very, very bad start with our starting hand. We just had two... We had our one counter to Hog Rider last card, right? I have to guards it this time, I think. Guards should deny almost everything. No, he's going to get at least two hits now because he went in for the log. Well played. No, he got one. Okay. I can vibe with that. Trimax sometimes uses random deck generator too. You should try it. Oh, man. I don't know if I could do it. <laughs> Where is the random deck generator? I just go and copy other people's decks. I think that's a horrible zap. Yeah, that was a bad decision. I should have went in for a minor if I was going to go in for that zap. Stupidity, man. At its finest. All right, we got to try a little bit harder because we're not doing so well right now. I have to go in for a NATO and then... Oh, man, that's going to be a lot of damage for him, actually. He's at least getting one hit, right? Hmm. Feels bad, man. We're going to let the fly machine lock on and then go for guard's balloon. Going for a minor as well to tank. And we got to make something happen. We got to make him spend a lot of elixir here. Otherwise, we're going to have a really, really bad time. Going to go in for a NATO to pull everything off as a lane. And then the balloon might get some hits. He goes in for a fireball. We're going to go in for a zap. And please give me the tower damage that we need. 
I have to go in for an ice spirit. Okay, we're back in business. Get out of here. He doesn't have ice spirit and we only need one minor hit. Good game. Whew. I was close. We bounced back though. 